Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. We are... Well, we woke up and found out that uh, our friend Yurik went on a crazy, destructive binge. Nails. Damn it. So now we gotta go around and repair everything. So let's take a look at the damage. We are supposed to pay... Oh. These are broken too. Cool, got some flesh off of that. Supposed to pay uh, Kresvold to visit. Looking to see if anything else is busted on my way. Ooh, clothesline's down. Uh, I need sticks. We'll take sticks. What are you doing? Wait, is this something that's busted too? No. Alright, Creswold. Keeper, finally you're here. Could you repair my toilet? The door was torn off, damn it. Can't stand it anymore. I'm hopping around too quick. To fix it myself. Wait just a bit. I'll take care of everything in a moment. Oh. Outhouse. Okay. So we need two... But we need two planks. Four nails. I just need to get a whole bunch of nails. And one... This is a repair kit, right? Wood repair kit. Hey! Let's see if there is anything else around. Oh! There's his door! Can't do anything with that! That's fixed. Remember them saying something about Adam's- Whoa, wow. Okay, I can't do anything with him just yet. Alright, so let's go home and get these items. Blank. Uh, blanks. you working on? Did you finish your work? Yeah, looks like it. Bring a bunch of nails because I'm sure we'll need quite a few of them. Broken glass, I'll get rid of that for now because we're not going to need that. I don't... I can't imagine we would. Um, two planks, four nails, and one wood repair kit. Oh, that gave me four. Great. Let's, uh, head back. Oh, and I did round up all of my, uh, certificates I can just sell. Okay, let's fix this. There we go. No reward for that. I gotta talk to her, Roderick, the ne next.
Next tasks. Helped Cresbold and you repaired your table. Okay. Cresbold satisfied. Adam. It's pottery wheel. Basket of eggs, the east of the village. It was knocked over. It would need fixed too. Beekeeper at the hives. Wow. He went on a rampage. Ooh, sticks. Ah, uh, oh, I can't get in there. Oh, okay. I do have the stuff I need for this. Okay. And beekeepers just over here. And then I'll head down to Adam. Got the hives. Some of my hives are brutally massacred. This behavior towards bees is quite unacceptable. Sorry for your loss. Is there anything I can do for them? I don't think so, but if you could prepare the hives, new bees would make their homes there. Okay. Will do. Oh. I can buy bees from you, can I? Grab. And... Alright, let's see how Adam's doing. Oh, did I pick up my money from the last shipment? Nope. Nice. About the damage. What happened? Look, my sweet baby is broken. What will I do now? Pottery is the meaning of my life, not to mention my primary source of income. I'll fix it right away. Glitch. Stone. Okay, they're all with me. Ah. Get some rest real quick. Uh, more, more tasks. Eric, what did you do? Help the villagers. Very good. There's not much left to do, Keeper. I hope you're not exhausted from your labors. I don't think so. Next task is to fix the... Lantern near the farmer's house. Something happened to Rosa's cow. Okay. So I believe the cow is just north of us. We'll do that. It's right here. Rosa, your cow. <laughs> uh, someone painted it. Project wanted me to check on your cow. It's a nightmare. I'm so frightened. Somebody painted our most sensitive cow. Now she's stressed. She won't let me milk her. <laughs> Aw. I'm so sorry. Please wash her off as soon as possible. Or ash to wash the cow.
I'm gonna pop over to the uh, farmers here. The light lamp near the farmer. Oh, that must be it. Simple parts and glass. I thought I had simple iron parts. Oh, I have 114. Where did you put them? Uh... Here they are. I also just stashed them in here and then zombie kept putting them in there. Glass. I am just grabbing a couple of each, because I never know what I'm going to need. For repairs. Okay, that'll do it. Over to the cow. Thank you, Keeper. You saved us. I hope our lovely cow can calm down soon. A little bit of relaxing grass will do her good. Back to Haradric. Yep. More tasks. Ugh. Hey, right, cow and lantern are good. We've helped all the villagers. All that remains is to clean up the mess here and there, if you haven't done that already, of course. There's pile of garbage near the town's southern border. Please clean everything up before it starts scaring guests away from visiting our village. Near the town's southern border. It would be near the village's southern border, right? It would be the town's northern northern, northern border? Wow, I can't say northern border. Right, that includes this door, yep. Sard the town. <gasps> Is this Yurik's handiwork? Seemed like he was getting better, but Sard is something Jerry says. Is this how the treatment affected him? Is that it? I think so. Oh, wait. Roderick. Tell him the village is in good shape. Okay. I fixed everything. I hope that's it. The villagers express their thanks and appreciation to you, Keeper, for your timely aid. You have restored order and peace to the village, and that's worth a lot. Oh, I almost forgot. Tress was looking for you and asked you to visit him. Tress, is something broken in his place? Hardly. He has some business for you. Alright, Tress is straight north.
would like to buy more sticks off of him anyway. Heard you were looking for me. I wanted to thank you for helping the village. I admire people who help others without expecting anything in return. No, I mean it. I personally appreciate what you've done for all of us, and just when we needed it most. I prepared a small present for you. I hope you like it. Thank you. Spicy orange. Oh, it's a blueprint. A new wall color? Um, yes. All 20. Spice paint and diamond paint. Uh, we're just gonna have to get those. Three of each. Just to see what that's about. I don't think I have... I think I still have to unlock the diamond paint, but the spice orange paint. Alright. I don't particularly like the color orange, but see what it looks like on the wall. Okay, it kind of looks taupey. Not really orange. And then whenever we unlock diamond, we'll give that a look. There. We put the rope away. Go to bed in case that triggers something else. Hope it triggers something else. The smiler might have something to tell us. Okay, yes, yeah, Smiler has a chat of his head. Why is it suddenly so quiet? Where's all the noise and fun? Where's Yurik? Well, there were some problems. Let me guess, he screwed up, ran away, and didn't even say goodbye? How did you know? I don't know how what you people call it. Oh, that's intuition. Listen, Smiler, I've been thinking about what happened to you. I'd be happy to help you with the situation you're in. You know, you can't stay here like that forever. Indeed, I can't, but I have no reason to do anything else. Look, I'm the professor of idleness, haha. -ha. It looks like the missing part of the book is the only thing that can answer your questions. And the only one who knows anything about that is Snake. Keeper, can't you hear me? Hmm, the lost part of the lost diary, hmm. I don't think it would hurt if I tried to find something out from Snake. Yes, go, Keeper, you can do it, haha. -ha. Ask about Yurik's disappearance. Neither of us knows where Yurik is. Do you know anything about it? Have you noticed anything unusual? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Ah, of course. There was one thing. One night, right before his disappearance, I heard screams coming from his room. And what did you hear? Oh, it was hard to make out, you know. He kept asking someone to come back. He said something about loneliness and how he lost himself. Maybe he just had a nightmare. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Why would I? I didn't know it would be so important to you. So sad. I'm afraid the treatment did it to him. Thank you, Smiler. Hmm. So now we gotta talk to Snake in two days. Oh, we 
making it quick day here. Ah. Okay, let's get this going. just another 12 hours ish right, we'll go with that Oh, I should have gone through my house. Ask about the Keeper's book. Snake, could you please tell me what you know about the Keeper's book? Why is everyone so interested in that book all of a sudden? Fine, listen. In times of the Third Keeper, stories of his talent spread far and wide. Black market folks were especially interested in his achievements. And his sole apparatus thingy was no exception. After the Third Keeper left, an offer was made to sell his book. The seller wanted to remain anonymous, so the deal was arranged in one of the dungeon's darkest rooms. According to the stories of the people who took part in that deal, their eyes almost fell out, metaphorically speaking, of course. It was the sight of a jumping silhouette. To this day, nobody knows who it was. This thing jumped up on the box, left the book, said that it contained everything apart from personal information. Took the money and jumped away. That's where you got your alcohol money from, eh, Jerry? So what's with the book? It turned out to be completely useless. It was incomplete, missing the blueprints of key mechanisms. That's why nobody could use it. That book would still be collecting dust in a storage room if it weren't for some crazy man with burning eyes. Desperately trying to find it. I agreed to sell it to him for an enormous amount of money, just as a joke. And you know what? He bought it. Sounds like Jerry might know something about the missing part. Well, doubtful he knows anything, his memory being what it is. I wonder how it's even connected. So, Jerry, huh? That tooth we found. All along, it's Jerry. About the lost part of the book. You know where the lost part of the Keeper's book might be? Which lost part? Oh, I see. Of course you don't remember anything. Right, I don't remember anything. I've got amnesia, remember? Hmm, I just got a crazy thought. What the hell, let's try it. Listen, I lost a ring around here. I think it might have rolled behind your box. Would you mind if I search for it there? How come nobody found it here yet? I think I should show this to Smiler. Huh. Why are you so excited? Well, I managed to find the lost part of the book, and it had some information about you. That's great! One less uncertainty in my life. Basically, you were an 18-year-old young man who suffered from a serious illness. They tried to heal you at the workbenches here, but something went wrong. They ended up with a soulless body, and something else. All that was left of his soul. 
Apparently you are all that's left of this young man. I see. I'm a residual entity, but I'm not that person. Now I understand why the former keeper treated me like that. But you're still... Don't worry, I don't care. What should I do? Sit and cry about it because life let me down? There's no connection between me and that dead guy, not anymore. It all makes sense to me now. Thank you for that, Keeper. What are you going to do now? Well, you know, I can't stay here forever. Even if I'm just half a soul, I'll still decay. But since we had so much fun together, maybe you could fulfill my final wish. Which is? Will you send me through the portal? Aww. Look, time will pass. You'll leave this place. And then what will I do? Sit here and watch Jerry drink? Beyond that, all that's left to wait until I completely disappear. I see your point. All right, I'll help you. Aw, Smiley, you can change your mind at any time. Oh, come on, I'm 100% sure. Hey, what's going on here? Smiler decided to leave. Well, this is great. It's about time. Finally, everything will be nice and quiet again, just like it used to be. Jerry, you shouldn't talk like that, especially right in front of him. It's all right, Keeper, don't worry. At least I won't be staring at an annoying frozen face all the time. Don't joke about that. Guys, enough. Are you ready? Why even ask? Let's do it. Well, I don't go very far or see very much, but what we did together was fun. Guys, I hope our souls will someday meet again. Return to the beginning. Achievement unlocked. And he's gone. Aww. Now it's quiet. Supposed to do something with Yurik? Or is this done? I guess, uh... Guess that's it. So maybe that's that of the, uh, the DLC. I'm not sure if we'll see anything with Yurik again, but, uh, thanks for watching. If I come across any more, I'll definitely record another episode. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.